All right, here's my next boiler. 20 inch diameter, 31 inches tall, and it has 22 inch and a half copper tubes in it. But I just wanted to go over all the little things that go into building one of these boilers that many of you don't know. And uh, I'll start at the top. Like that ring at the top, that has to be custom formed to this stack. So I buy a ring and then I remodify it. And then the stack itself, <clears throat> just putting it all together, buying it, the uh, part right here in front of you, I guess they call that part of the stack, that's custom made for me for my boilers. A 14 inch diameter here and 8 inch here. But when I get it, usually this part that's uh, pressured in doesn't fit it. So I have to customize that as well. The gauges, I search for the best gauges I can find. That little valve right there is brass. Comes from one or two suppliers on eBay. The water siphon there, that's uh, you know hard to find, especially in brass or bronze. And then that's part of the blower. The little valve here and where it goes down in and then there's the ring inside of it that makes the blower work and all the plumbing parts that go with that. Uh, the gauge or the whistle here is the best whistle, three chime whistle I can find. It requires a, a valve here to make sure the valve in it is working properly so when it is working properly I remove this valve. The handle, <coughs> the, the cord here is shoelaces from you know a, a logger's boots. <coughs> Going over the other side the pop-off valve, uh, this one's set at 125. I'm going to change it down to 100 when it comes. I just haven't received it yet. The little, uh, little eighth-inch parts, uh, three-quarter part here to make the steam go up when it pops off. Uh, the reducer here, and this valve will be removed as well after I test this valve and the other valve to make sure it's working properly. And just like this, the engine out part here is valve, that valve will stay. And like the top of this, uh, the crown sheet, you know, that has to all be machined as well as the one underneath it at the bottom of the tubes up inside the firebox. And it has to be exactly correct for me to be able to roll the tubes in. Uh, the tricox down here is on eBay. Water sight glass. Same thing. Uh, all the pump work and everything. I buy these pumps from a, a guy in Delaware, and, and they're very expensive, and then they're 30 or 40 pounds to ship them out here, so it's not cheap on the freight. They have the best quality check valves on the market. And then I you know, buy a piece of hose and, and clamps for it, all the bolts and everything. Then the base of it here is... Uh, the firebox is, uh, you know, all 3 8 plate steel custom cut for me because they're hollow inside, as you understand. And uh, like the on the firebox door here, these little hinges, they're weld -up, weldable hinges. Uh, and like this, uh, I buy these on eBay that uh, I custom fit them to the... Uh, firebox door so they're not hot. You can see up in there maybe, maybe you can't, and then all the grates that are in here and the little latch right here. And the way that all this has to be machined correctly. The ash pan has to be built. There's even feet on the bottom of it to raise it up off the floor. All this stuff. And like these bolts here and here and here and on the other side, that re you unbolt those, and that removes it from the uh, firebox, the boiler from the firebox. All that stuff. And all the parts in here, the check valve here, the, get the valves themselves, to, uh, in order to clip your hose on here. I don't use plastic here, I use brass. And this custom little plate is made for the pump to stand on. So there's a lot that goes into these things. Hundreds of parts. 
system. I just thought I'd bring that out. If you have any questions about it, you can give me a call 206 948 0770. And this is the first firing of this boiler. It's uh, right, brand new. It's probably the nicest one I've built in a long time. Just everything fit perfect. That's about it.